What's good, y'all boys? It's your boy, Chef King Chef Shalom, back in the building. I'll pray to the most high for another day. Hopefully, brothers have been out there grinding, you know what I mean? Handling business, doing what we're supposed to do on the regular. But, hey, let me rap with y'all boys real quick, man. I'm gonna get real with y'all boys on this video. You know, I, I, I keep it 1,000 anyways on every video I drop. But uh, this video right here, we're gonna talk about how I was able to shake, you know, watching porn and uh, smoking so much weed, you feel me? So let's get into it. So we're gonna start with the pornography, bro. I'm gonna, now, I'm gonna say this off top. I haven't watched porn or anything of that nature in probably, I would say at least five plus years. Not, not even trying to be funny, bro. Um, I used to have, I used to watch a lot of porn, you know, back in the day growing up, you know, in middle school, high school, stuff like that. And I noticed like, well, looking back now, knowing what I know now, uh, you know, those younger years, is when your testosterone starts to really build up in your body and if you look at like the testosterone levels that as a, a boy grows to a man and then to an older man um throughout his life that it starts to decrease so when you're younger when it's when you when you start to produce testosterone it's at its highest level so if one doesn't know how to control it or use it or has been taught you know about this then you go buck wild. You're trying to hump on all the females. You're constantly watching porn. You're constantly releasing your seed just nonstop, countless times throughout the day. You know what I mean? So with me watching porn all the time, that led to me releasing my seed a lot. You feel me? Um, what led me to stop watching pornography, bro, was whenever the, whenever the very last time it was. I don't remember the exact date, but I remember how I felt, you feel me? And I was looking, I was like, bro, one, watching pornography is weird as hell. Let me just be, I'm a BG, bro. And, and I wish I would have understood this young, when I was younger, so I wouldn't have did the things I did. But uh, watching pornography is weird, bro. I'm gonna be G. You watching a man that you don't know, for one, and even if you did know him, the, the shit's still weird. You watching a man and a woman have sex. Like you see their their private parts, you feel me? And then you can you got the brothers who say, oh well, uh, I just watch the ones with the women. Just bro, it's still weird because you're looking at digital cheeks. You know what I mean? You're looking at these digital booties and stuff like that, and you, and you're sitting there and you're aroused by it. You're aroused by this man hitting this woman. You feel me? And you release yourself to that. That don't seem weird to y'all boys. You know what I mean? Even if you try to imagine, oh, well, I imagine that's my wood. And, bro, I done heard so many excuses, bro. I'm going to be G. That shit is weird, dog. I'm just going to be 100 with y'all boys. Watching pornography is weird. Another thing, it's not real. It's not real for you. Yeah, the two people that's in the video, they having sex. You feel me? But it's not real to you. And I told myself, if I'm going to release my seed, it needs to be released with an actual woman. You know what I mean? Now, I ain't saying y'all boys, you know, stop watching porn and then just go out here and be male harlots, bro, or whoremongers, and you out here just hitting on all, you hitting all the women because you can't control your lust, you can't control your, your flesh. And I'm not telling y'all boys that, but what I'm telling you is, why waste your seed watching pornography when you could be either one, retaining your seed, especially if you ain't got no old lady or nothing like that, or two, Go release your seed with actual woman and produce a child. You feel me? Or get a girl, or get an old lady. You know what I mean for that? Watch, watching pornography is useless, bro. It messes with your mind. It it creates this illusion that sex is supposed to be how it is in the video. A lot of women ain't built like that. I'ma just be G, bro. Them women that be in them videos, a lot of them be acting for one and two. Them a different kind of women, dog. Most of these women out here, these regular women out here in this world, bro, they not built like that, bro. Them girls don't be on stuff like that. Now, some of them do, a lot of them do, but not all of them. So you'll ruin your interaction with a woman because you trying to do all the stuff you done seen on the video and the woman might not be okay with all that. You feel me? So I was able to shape pornography because like I said, one, it was weird. It just, it, it settled in my mind like, bro, this shit is really weird. So all praise to the most high for that. And then I realized, I said, bro, if I'm not releasing myself with a woman, then I'm just gonna retain my seed. Cause it's pointless to watch this and, and I'm not getting a reward from this. This serves me no purpose. You know what I mean? It serves no purpose. And, and for the buzz to say, well, I just need to get one off real quick. 
Bro, just retain your seed. You telling me you can't retain your seed? You can't tell yourself no from watching this? You gotta fight the addiction, bro. Every every brother who is able to fight the addiction has been there before. So don't sit here and act like it's just you. You know what I mean? You gotta be able to fight it. Moving right along, bro. Smoking marijuana. Nah, over the last, probably the last five years for sure. I would probably say the last 10 almost. I've been smoking a lot of marijuana, bro. Like, I've smoked a lot of weed, you feel me? And at first, you know, when I started dip, dabbling and dabbling with weed, bro, it was more of just like, I'm gonna make my own butters, I'm gonna make my own, like, oil and stuff like that and ingest it, put it in my food, and that's how I started, that's how I started back dealing with marijuana. But then after a while, it was like, I'm, I, I you know, I got back into smoking it, and I started smoking it a lot especially these last three years when I was, you know, on leave from my job, I'm still getting paid every week. So it's like, I got money to spend. So I thought, you feel me? And I'm buying weed. Not all my money's going to weed, but I'm I'm buying weed every week. I'm reading up every week, getting a pack every week, smoking, blowing down weed trees every week. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. It got to a point I hadn't smoked so much because I just had so much time on my hand that I noticed myself having to smoke a lot to remain high, you know? And I'm like, one, my tolerance is too high, so I need to take a break. So I ended up taking a break for like a month. This was maybe like a, maybe about two years ago. I took a break for like a month just to kind of fall back, kind of get my mind right and, and, and see what was what, right? And then I started back again, and my tolerance got built back up, and I was on another little street. But it I never forget the one of the last times I copped some trees, I was like, bro, what what am I doing, bro? Like, I feel like I can't function without the weed now. You know what I mean? I'm I'm smoking so much just to kind of stay high. Anytime I feel myself coming down or I gotta smoke, I was smoking when I got up in the AM. You know what I mean? Smoking before I left to do anything. Smoking when I came back. Smoking while I was out. You know, smoking all day while I'm playing the PlayStation. Smoking when my ex used to come over. Smoking right before I'm about to beat the Doonies down. Smoking after I beat the Doonies down. Smoking before I go to bed. Like, and it may not be a whole joint I'm smoking each session, but I gotta flick that lighter. I gotta spark it up and and and, and indulge in it real quick. Get a couple hits. Let me get a couple hits in. Let me get a couple hits in. Let me get. If I gotta keep going and relying on it like that, I have an addiction, bro. And I'm a BG. I was addicted to marijuana. Now, what led me to stop smoking so much? I looked at how much money I, I'm trying to make a. I'm trying to make a wealth transfer, if you will. Like I'm trying to be the one in my family to uh, take us to the next level financially, or at least, uh, at least, you know create the path for that you know i'm at least trying to be the one to start it kick it off or whatever i may not be the one that see the billions in the family name but i'm at least trying to get us a hey, y'all follow this game plan right here you will see them billions you stick to this to a t you will see it so that's why i put in so much work that i put in so it led me to think bro this marijuana really don't serve you no purpose bro you can you can reach these levels of uh creativeness and and this thought process without this herb. Yes, this herb is put, put here for medicinal purposes, but I'm abusing it. And I'm using it in a way that is not purposeful for me. You know, I'm just smoking just to remain high to kind of maybe run away from my problems or to just try to feel good or whatever. That's not what it's for. It's for healing purposes. It's for, you know, medication, stuff like that. You have to understand, bro, that if you are addicted to something, you want, you gotta identify, you gotta be real with yourself. And then you figure out ways on how do you gonna shake that stuff, bro, and then you go about that. So, the more I started working out and sweating out toxins and, and being in a sauna and sweating and stuff like that, being active, it led me to stop having the urges to smoke. So, then every now and then, it went from me smoking every day and copping every day to, and then I would only, I might tap the joint every now and then when I'm with one of my homeboys. And it was only like one or two homeboys that I would smoke with, you feel me? 
But with that being said, it was like, damn, I'm starting to notice I'm not smoking no more. And my, my parents was like, damn, you don't be smoking no more? Nah, I don't, I don't really be smoking no more. You feel me? And then eventually it was just like, I can live without this. So when I smell a tree in the, when I be out and about and I smell marijuana, bro, it don't be like, damn, I want to smoke, I want to smoke. You know, every now and then, even to this day, I might have a thought of, yeah, let me go get me a joint or something like that. But I'm going to be honest with you. One, I'm not financially there yet to even be indulging in marijuana unless I'm growing it and using it for medicinal purposes. And two, it's like, bro, this this no longer serves me in, in that in that light anymore, bro. You feel me? So I hope this I hope this video resonates with somebody out there. I hope y'all boys, you know, keep grinding and trying to get better every day. If you got addictions, bro, just identify it. Be real with yourself, bro, and, and do what you need to do to grow from that. Because it ain't doing nothing but holding you back. You feel me? If the message apply to you, charge to the game. If it don't, you keep it pushing. This your boy, King Chef Shalom. I'll praise to the most high. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit me up on IG if you want to chop it up or uh, email me or whatever. Um, Hey, like I said, once again, I'll praise to the most high. Shalom, y'all, boys.